हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर न्यू वीडियो ऑन टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन इन आर लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस दैट वंस रिस्क इज आइडेंटिफाइड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पुट सम कंट्रोल्स और काउंटर मेजर्स टू ब्रिंग रिस्क फ्रॉम अन एक्सेप्टेबल और हाई लेवल टू अन एक्सेप्टेबल लेवल ब्रॉडली देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल प्रिवेंटिव कंट्रोल डिटेक्टिव एंड करेक्टिव टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वॉट दीज कंट्रोल्स आर देर इंपॉर्टेंस एंड हाउ दे कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड to protect against various security threats firstly let's define what preventive detective and corrective controls are preventive controls are measures taken to prevent security incidents from occurring in the first place they are proactive in nature and are implemented to reduce the likelihood of a security breach preventing control means detecting problem before they arise Example of preventive controls include access control which can be logical or physical access control which prevents unauthorized access by restricting access to only authorized individuals so logical access control like restricting access for application based on some role or rules like uh, vendor uh, payments applications uh, which organizations are using or set applications or it can be physical access control like access to a critical areas like server room or battery room second is firewall it is designed to protect unauthorized access to a network or system by filtering network traffic based on predefined rules a firewall can prevent unauthorized access attempts from reaching the network and reduce the risk of a successful attack so firewall is also a preventive control antivirus software so antivirus can be preventive control it is a detective control and corrective control at the same time depending on the function you are performing or the antivirus is performing antivirus keep the computer safe to first place by preventing malware from running damaging or uh, writing files it is acting as a preventive control here it scans monitor file in computer continuously for viruses so here it is a detective control antivirus removes malicious files from system once detected so here antivirus is a corrective one right security awareness training is also an example of preventive controls training given to employees to raise their awareness and understanding of potential security threats and this as well as best practices for protecting against them will help prevent incidents from occurring segregation of duties is another preventive control which ensures that no single individual has complete control over a process an organization can reduce the risk of fraud or security events caused by one individual actions example can be like there cannot be a single person who is doing the vendor payments and who is also requesting the payment or approving the payment so there have there has to be different individuals doing these different transactions one classical example of consequences generated by lack of segregation is the bearings bank collapse you might have heard of bearings bank this is classical example of fraud committed by people who had access to too many functions and did not need separate authorization the character is nick leeson who was manager of bearing banks trading on the singapore international monetary exchange and at the same time the head of settlement operations meaning that he was in charge with the accurate accounting also so he was performing an activity and also he was in charge with checking how the activity is being performed those positions of course would normally be held by two different persons the consequences as we all know 1.3 billion dollars in losses and collapse of the bearing spain so all organizations should implement segregation of duties no individual employee should be in charge of creating a transaction recording it approving in and processing the payment there should be different individuals there should be different individuals now let's move to detective controls detective controls are designed to detect security incidents that have already occurred these controls are reactive in nature that means once the incident has occurred these controls detect the incidents after it has occurred these are implemented to identify potential security breaches in a timely manner 
some of the examples like monthly MIS reports or reconciliation of transactions which you do every month reports are generated shared uh, shared with management so organizations have different procedures in place to reconcile the transaction conducting periodic security audits will give you the findings they will also detect if there is any loophole in the system or if there is any uh, gap in the process account reports and reconciliations like you prepare budget how much you budgeted for any um, month or a year maybe or any project and how much is the actual expense so comparing both of them these are some of the detective controls and intrusion detection system are also detective controls which uses a database of known attack signatures to detect any suspicious activity so when ideas identifies a pattern of network traffic that matches a non attack signature it raises an alert it can look for behaviors and deviations from normal behavior and may raise an alert for example if user is accessing any sensitive file at unusual time or from any unusual location then ideas may raise an alert it can set some rules to raise alert finally corrective controls are measures taken to control or remediate security incidents after they have occurred corrective controls are implemented to minimize the damage caused by a security breach and prevent similar incidents from happening in future so once the incident has happened what are the measures to correct or remediate those security events so these includes system recovery procedures like steps and processes involved in restoring a system or network to its normal functioning after incident or any disaster these procedures may include steps such as restoring data from backups reconfiguring systems and application and implementing security patches and updates incident response plans and disaster recovery plans are designed to help organization recover from a security incident or disaster which has occurred these plans establishes procedures and processes for restoring critical business functions and system a disaster recovery plan might include procedures for restoring data and systems from backups after the cyber attack or natural attacks and data backups are also corrective controls in case the original data is lost or damaged due to a security incident or event in the event of security incident or disaster data backup can be used to restore critical data and systems minimizing the impact of the incident on the organization so all these three types of controls are important for a comprehensive security strategy let's revise them preventive controls help reduce the likelihood of security incidents detective controls help identify potential security incidents and corrective controls help minimize the damage caused by security incidents and prevent future incidents from occurring so how can you implement these controls for our organization implementing these controls requires a combination of technical administrative and physical measures don't get confused between security controls and security measures both of these terms are often used in connection with each other or interchangeably security measures are the broader set of steps taken by an organization to protect its information and systems like policies procedures and mechanisms used to protect against security risks while security controls are specific safeguards and countermeasures that an organization implement to protect its information and systems so technical measures include hardware and software solutions like firewalls and anti antivirus software administrative measures include policies and procedures like security awareness training and incident response plans physical measures includes lock cameras gates biometric access controls by implementing a combination of these controls organizations can protect their assets and reduce the likelihood of security incidents and respond quickly and effectively to security breaches control function can be preventive detective or corrective and at the same time control type can be physical technical or administrative in nature let's understand it by an example suppose if we talk about cctv and surveillance then it is a detective control but it is 
फिजिकल मेजर एट द सेम टाइम राइट लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल फायर वॉल फायर वॉल इज अ प्रिवेंटिव कंट्रोल बट इट इज अ टेक्निकल कंट्रोल राइट इट इज नॉट अ फिजिकल कंट्रोल इट इज नॉट अ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल इट इज अ टेक्निकल कंट्रोल राइट एंड वेन एवर अ न्यू एम्प्लॉय इज हायर देन द साइन एक्सेप्टेबल यूज एग्रीमेंट पॉलिसी इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ प्रिवेंटिव कंट्रोल एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल एट द सेम टाइम एंड इम्प्लीमेंटिंग अ बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी प्लान इंसिडेंट रिस्पॉन्स प्लान दिज आर टाइप ऑफ करेक्टिव कंट्रोल्स बट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मेजर्स एट द सेम टाइम आई होप यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंट्रोल फंक्शंस एंड कंट्रोल टाइप्स प्रिवेंटिव डिटेक्टिव करेक्टिव एंड फिजिकल टेक्निकल एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मेजर्स राइट टर्मिनेशन पॉलिसीज हायरिंग पॉलिसीज बैकग्राउंड चेक्स सेपरेशन ऑफ ड्यूटीज एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डेटा दीज आर प्रिवेंटिव कंट्रोल्स बट एट द सेम टाइम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल्स एज वेल राइट सो दिस वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल विच एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मे चूज टू ऑप्ट वाई कंडक्टिंग अ रिस्क असेसमेंट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल्स नाउ नेक्स्ट आई विल बी मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन बिजनेस कॉन्टीन्यूटी प्लानिंग और मे बी बिजनेस इम्पैक्ट analysis so stay tuned for more updates thank you guys see you all in next video share and subscribe with your friends consider joining me on linkedin thank you bye bye see you